What is up, everyone? First of all, I just want to go ahead and take this time to point out, yes, I did get a haircut. Yes, it is. I, I do this a lot because... You know, I, I, it does feel like I, it does feel like I have to scratch this part. It's just weird that I don't have any hair back here to do this to. Um, so yeah, shout out to my cousin for giving me this. This actually does look nice, and it does make me feel a little bit better. I probably, uh, I, I like I said, I don't like normally getting my hair cut, but you know, this time it just felt different. Um, uh, this past week has actually been a little bit crazy, and um, one of the big reasons why is because there's a handful of internet trends that's been going on lately that's been on my Facebook wall that's just starting to pop up, and like I'm just I, like I don't really care that much about internet trends because uh, in general, like I say, I'm mostly focusing on politics because I mean politics is the reason why we have you know politics is kind of the reason why we still have the internet yada 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 you know protect our democracy. Um, but another thing too is that like one of the things that's really just sort of like frustrating me is that like some of these a lot of these internet trends is starting to sort of like socially engineer people into being a certain way and thinking a certain way about certain things that I just feel like you know like there's there's this there's this really weird attempt at groupthink that I just don't agree with because I feel like you shouldn't have to. Um, like, you know, I feel like there's some things that we should all universally agree with because there are certain things that, like, you know, I feel like if it hurts the majority, it hurts everyone. But then there's these things that I feel like we we should just keep nuanced and specific. For example, dating, right? Like, everybody, as I've said before, everybody dates different. Everybody uh, everybody's dates different. Everybody sees things in a different way. So not everything is going to... I mean, there should be, like, a universal agreement, like... You know, non-consenting parties are just, should, that's just should be like a no-no right there. Like non-consenting parties, uh, you know, clearly being honest about who you are and stuff like that. These should just be like, on, like these should just be things that everybody should agree with. But as far as like, how you date, like who you date as far as, um, you know, in, in a consensual way, you know what I'm saying, is concerned, that's, that's, should be up to whoever is doing the whatever. Like, like I said, I'm Polly, so it's like, I don't. I'm Polly, but I'm not about to look at a mono couple and be like, ew. You know what I'm saying? So, there's that. Oh, man, I'm just really frustrated because this video, like, I normally do, like, I average out, like, 15 minutes on these videos, and this video is going to take the whole day to upload, and it's really frustrating me. But, whatever. I do this stuff every, I do this, I've been doing this stuff every week for three years. Let's keep it going. First of all, there's a lot of y'all just apparently popping up now. Like, I, I went from having, like, I went from having, like, like, I remember thinking to myself I was never going to break past 365 subscribers, and now I got, like, over 400, almost 500. Bro, if I get 500 subscribers, I'm going to lose my mind, bro, because, wow, I did not, y'all don't understand, like, that's crazy. All, all I do is get on camera and just say stuff. I don't, I don't edit my stuff. I don't, I don't do anything. All I do is just get on the camera and start talking. And, you know, like, it just, like, somebody, like I said, the, the whole, you know, imagine 474 people organizing themselves to talk to you. And it's like, obviously, I know that some of these people are bots or spammers or people who just hate me and want to, like, just thumbs down all my videos or whatever. But it doesn't matter. It's the fact that I'm still getting, like, like, people are still, like, saying, you know what, we're going to, we're watching this. It's just wild to me, man. It's just wild. Um, wow. Like I said, if I get 500 people, I'm going to be like, What? Um, uh, a lot of a handful of people are coming because of the uh, the, uh, the 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 video that I made about sensitive people, which I just think is hilarious because it's like there's gonna be some people who's gonna like read the title of that and watch that video and think, oh yeah, he's definitely talking about sensitive people. Sensitive people need to stop being so damn sensitive. But then you watch it again and it's like, is he talking about me? <laughs> Yes, uh, let me go ahead and reiterate the meaning of that video because I don't want anybody to get confused about what the meaning actually is. I am mocking people who use the word sensitive to weaponize against somebody who is actually who actually has a legitimate grievance. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, because the whole idea is that, like, you know, the whole idea is that if I call him sensitive, then he's going to deny it and uh, say he's not being, like, he's going to say that he's not being sensitive and that's just going to let me, he's going to continue to let me do the stuff to him. And it's like, no. It's like, the whole idea is, you know, like, you know, the word that you're weaponizing should be accepted because being sensitive is nothing wrong with being sensitive. There's nothing wrong with being, you know, with having a problem with somebody who's doing something that's harmful to you. 
You know what I mean? You shouldn't just be okay with somebody doing something that you don't like. You know what I mean? Which is the irony here is that if somebody calling you sensitive, it's them being sensitive about you being sensitive. I know it's weird, but it's, I, I know it's weird, but I'll explain that later on. Like, well, you're well. How dare you be upset with me for being for doing something that's making you upset? Okay, well, now that we know that you're doing something that's making me upset, can you stop? Nope. <laughs> so, yeah. So, just so we know, that's the message. Um, also, there is a, like, like a, I didn't, I wasn't familiar with the, I don't really, like, follow a lot of rap music, but, like, rap music has actually been kind of crazy lately. There's been, like, a lot of uh, beefs going on lately and stuff like that. And I just think that that's a little ridiculous because, like, I mean, like, if you're black and you've if you're black and you've lived in the '90s, you know exactly how bad rap beefs can get. And if you like rap music, you would probably not be okay with it. Like you know, you're gonna probably be like, "Yo, man, these diss tracks are so nice. I love the fact that everybody's hating each other, everybody's crapping on each other, everybody's messing with each other, everybody's talking smack to each other." But y'all do realize that once the bullets start flying, y'all gonna be like, "He wasn't supposed to die, though." You know what I'm saying? It's just like it's wild to me because like, you know, like did Tupac's death like teach y'all nothing? <laughs> Proof, Biggie Smalls, Soldier Slam, uh, Nussy. Like, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm, I'm at this point just talking about rappers from my neck of the woods who have passed away before they were supposed to. But yeah, uh, there's a whole bunch of rappers who got shot. Just go down the list. And a lot of times, I mean, like Nipsey Hussle. I'm just saying, you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm not saying, like, you know, I'm not... All I'm saying is that, like, you know, we, it's kind of a self-destructive thing that we're doing. Like, as like, you know, it's kind of a self-destructive thing to just sort of be seal clapping the thing that, you know, one of the common causes of rappers' deaths from a time when the 90s would continue, the 90s could technically be considered one of the golden eras of rap music. And y'all are seeing this stuff. Y'all seeing the same thing that got some of those rappers killed and being like, man, I'm loving this current stuff right here. Back in the day when rappers used to actually hate each other and want to want to end each other's lives. I love that. It's like, no, 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 don't love that. That's bad. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, some people just don't. Some people just don't know. Whatever. Um, there is another trend that's going on on the internet about um, women apparently trusting themselves to be more around bears than they would be around another man. And I just want to go ahead and say this right now. Uh, women, as a man, I apologize for that. I can't apologize for other men, but I can apologize for, you know, on behalf of myself. As I've said before, I don't want to ever make anybody feel uncomfortable. I want to be, I don't want people to think of me in a negative way. I'm aware that they will, but I would rather people who think of me in a negative way have a reason for like, uh, oh, he doesn't, he don't like white supremacists, so I don't like him. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, I would rather the people who like me, who dislike me for the right reason, dislike me forever but i don't like the idea of you know coming off as creepy to some women now, i will say this i have made women uncomfortable in the past i mean look at me i mean just look at this face i'm pretty sure women have looked at this face before and just was like Ew. you know what i'm saying but the fact of the matter is is that like i'm sorry you know like men are not supposed to make women feel and fear for their lives. And there are guys out there who have basically just every single time, every single time a guy hurts a woman, you set his back like 50 years. Okay. Like every single time a black guy hurts, uh, every single time a black guy commits a crime, you're setting us back 50 years. Every single time. Cause now you're giving, you're giving racist and sexist ammo. You know what I'm saying? You're giving people reason to justify them feeling the way that they feel. I'm not saying it's like, you know, I feel like it shouldn't it shouldn't be a controversial statement to just say, stop hurting women, stop committing crime, stop hurting people who don't need to be hurt. If you're going to do something bad to somebody, do it to the people who deserve it. There's white supremacists out there right now who gets no smoke, like none, like 0% smoke. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's people out there who are actively sabotaging our lives and they get like nothing for it. But you want to hurt somebody who you claim to love or you want to hurt somebody who is within proximity of you just because you're angry. Like, you're not helping the matters, bro. You're just not. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm frustrated and angry every day. Once again, earlier earlier on this month, my apartment got like, my apartment got, you know, broken into. And I'm very sure I have an idea who did it. You know what I'm saying? 
So, but rather than me go over to the Walmart and pick up, uh, you know, and go over to the Walmart and get myself an honorary, uh, an honorary Texas uh, residential confirmation, you know, like instead of me getting that and deciding to exact revenge on the people who stole my pants and my chicken ramen, I would rather just not do that. I'd rather just continue to live my life and try my best to live it in the best way I know possible. You see what I'm saying? But that's just me, though. That's just me. I'm just frustrated about the fact that it's like, as 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 men, we're supposed to be like you know there, there's this whole stupid thing about men are the protectors, men are the providers. We're out here, you know, we we supposed to be protecting women. Yeah, protect them. Maybe don't end their life because they don't find you physically attractive. Maybe don't be ups Maybe don't be upset because women are people who enact life on their own personal experiences instead of just trying to latch on to yours. They're people on their own. They're individuals. Just because you don't agree with them on certain things, like how sexually attractive you think you are, doesn't mean you have to do things to hurt them. There's an entire perspective. Like, even, even on a surface level, guys, guys, I'm talking to y'all now. Even on the surface level, even on the surface level of you just want to get, you know, just you, you just want to be inside women more. OK, if you want to do that, then like technically speaking, technically speaking, I mean, like there's women out there that will be glad to participate in activities with you. If you just treated them like a person instead of just being like, man, I'm a big me dude. I got a chest pounder energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to, you know, I, I'm going to treat you like garbage and you better like it. Yes, that's totally going to, uh, yes, that's totally going to dampen the nether regions. Yeah, you're definitely, wow, so so alpha, such big, strong man, whatever. Like, this is such a weird thing, man. It's like, you got women out here just basically, like, I think the weirdest thing about this is that, like, there's guys out there, guys are acting shocked about this. Like, I've been in enough I've, I've dealt with enough manosphere bros to know that they're not shocked. They're not shocked that women are saying they're not shocked that this is a thing. They're what they're shocked that women are saying it out loud. You know what I mean? Because like the whole idea is that like the whole idea is that in the manosphere is that like, you know, women never like women never voice their frustrations because you can't hear the frustrations. It's a lot like how Mitch McConnell can't hear it. Can't hear how much everybody hates him. Because he just, he, he puts a blinders on, he puts his fingers in his ear and go, I'm doing everything correctly. But now these guys, like, you know, these guys, they don't have that kind of, they, they don't have that, the, 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 they don't have the million dollar blinders on. They have to actually pay attention to these women out here who are basically saying, what you're doing is wrong, please stop. And they're saying it loudly and proudly now. You, you, there's no law saying that they can't say it. But I know for a fact that I'm speaking for myself when I say this, ladies, look, I'm not trying to make women feel uncomfortable. I'm not trying to do anything to harm women. Like, if anything, I try, if anything, like, you know, a lady comes my way, I look, I, I, I don't make, eye, I try my best not to make eye contact because I know that they're looking at me and going, that dude looks creepy. I'm just going to be like, eh? Women look, women make eye contact with me? Eh? I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at that thing behind you. Don't worry. I'm not a creep. Or rather, I'm, I might be, you might think that you have every reason to believe that I'm a creep, but I'm not trying to be one. That's, that. I feel like that's a better thing to say. But yeah, though, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if, but guys, though, like literally, if women prefer to be around bears than you, maybe instead of being upset with them about preferring that, just being a better guy. And if you don't want to be a better guy, just leave women alone. It's just that simple. I mean, at least because, like, you know, there's, if you're going to truly believe that there's somebody for everybody, then you will believe that leaving every woman alone for you being a terrible person will not be a thing that's going to detract you because some woman is going to find you attractive. Some woman is going to want you even if you leave every woman alone. If you truly believe that, you will go by that logic instead of just harassing women and just... Yo, you, you know you want me. Just saying. Uh, I'm ranting too long. Uh, and I almost missed talking about politics. 
Um, but there's really nothing important going on in politics, at least not to me. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, I, I am, I am so over the whole Trump trial thing. It's like at this point right now, it's like just put the dude. Like how do you, how do you commit so much crime and just get nothing for it? I just don't understand. Like to put this in perspective, if I'm suspected of a crime, I can go to jail. If I am suspected of a crime, there's a possibility that I can go to jail. But this dude, because he's a former president, we're just trying to get him to exhaust every single thing he has. You know what I mean? But I mean, I understand though. Uh, the girlfriend did kind of explain to me that uh, that uh, you know there is a reason behind that. Is like you know you still need to have the mountain of evidence against them just to let them know, just so they can't scratch out of anything. And I'm telling y'all right now, there should be a TV series dedicated to Donald Trump's presidency. There should be a TV series dedicated to presidencies in America in general. Like from from Washington to Trump, from Washington to Biden. But the fact that the matter is, because like you know, like it, 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 we we watch a lot of period pieces dedicated to like other countries and stuff like that. You know, there's one about the there's one dedicated to the royals. There's one dedicated to the samurais. There's one dedicated to I mean, there's one dedicated to the royals and the samurais. But we need one specifically for the American presidency, and we also need one for the uh, the uh, indigenous people before the Americans got here. You know what I'm saying? Because like we we tend to enjoy things through fiction, and I feel like this would actually be one entertaining and two educational, because we can always just you know you can take liberties, and also I would love to see what kind of actors that they will provide for, um, like I don't know President Taft. <laughs> like I'm just thinking about that. Like who would play President Taft? Because he's so fat, you know. Um, who would play President Chester Arthur? Who will, pres who will play President uh, Garfield? <laughs> Benjamin Harrison, right? <laughs> who will play William Henry Harrison? That would be funny as hell. <laughs> that would be the shortest gig. But that's what I'm saying, though. It's like we do kind of need like that to sort of be a thing. Because I feel like, like I said, the more we don't know about politics, the more it will affect us as a people when we, when we encounter something that we could have fixed and we just didn't because we didn't care. Because we're just too busy saying, there ain't nothing going to be, we can't do anything about it anyway. Yes, we can. <sighs> I'm a little, I'm a little bit more animated on this one, I know, but that's just because I'm very frustrated right now. Uh, but that's it though. Love, peace, happiness, and, and, uh, safety and everything else to everyone out there. Um, we'll talk later. Okay. Also, seriously, if you like my stuff, let me know why. Like I need comments. Like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm driving. Like I like the idea that people are like coming in and just sort of like paying attention to what I'm saying. But like, what exactly is it that I'm saying that y'all like? Like you know, hook a brother up. Like don't just, just don't just follow and stare. You can talk to me. I will talk back to you. Love, peace, happiness, safety, comfort, care. Holy crap! I just had a whole other thing I was gonna do.